guys welcome to today's tutorial in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this beautiful ball gown for our princesses it's very easy to cut and the sewing process too is very very easy so just follow the steps and you will get the same exact result so let's get started so the materials needed is you need a damask crinoline then we we'll need paper stiff okay then two different types of net you can as well use one but for the shade i'm going for i had to use two different types the scissors your tape also your client measurements so now as you can see the fabric is unfold into four all right then the space here is for the zip allowance okay then now i've marked out my starting point line and and the half length i'm working with is 11 inches okay i'll be adding one inch to it for the joining at the shoulder area and at the half length waist area so making 12 inches so i'm going to be marking 12 inches from the starting point line then i'll come here to and mark 12 inches then connect the two points together so the next measurement i'll be taking is the shoulder measurement which is 10 inches divided by two will give me five inches then i'll be adding half an inch to it for the sewing allowance making five and a half so i've marked it there then i'm going to add half inch to that five and a half to give me six inches so i mark six inches here then i'll come to this part to the mark same five and a half then i'll connect the two points together so the next thing now is i'm going to come here and i'm going to mark half an inch here then another half an inch making one inch then from this point to this point i'm going to find the midpoint so what i have left is five inches divided by two will give me 2.5 so i mark it there that point then i'm going to come in by half an inch then connect this point to this second half an inch point there okay so for her bust measurement the bust measurement i'm working with is 22 inches divided by four i'm going to get five and a half inches okay five and a half inches plus one inch making six and a half but what i always do is i'll add a quarter of an inch to heat for ease okay so making 6.7 all together plus the sewing allowance without the sewing allowance it's going to be 5.7 as you can see here then plus one in sewing allowance is going to be 6.7 so i'm going to mark the 6.7 here so I mark one inch inward like so for the sewing allowance then I'll connect that point to this point here okay so the next thing is I'll be working on the waist our waist measurement is 22 inches divided by four is going to give me five and a half so the same measurement I marked on the bust area is what I'm repeating for the waist measurement which is 6.7 so i'm going to be marking that now so i'm going to be connecting the two points together all right okay for the neck area now i'll be marking 2.2 .2 for the neck width then i'll add half an inch to that 2.2 .2, making 2.7 for the neck depth so I'll mark it here then i repeat the same thing on the other side as well for the 2.2 .2 and 2.7 depth before connecting the points together to form a curve so now 
the next thing is to take the back neck measurement so the neck depth is one inch then i'll connect it to the other points there so that is it then this point i'm going to connect it to this other point here the first half an inch okay then for the zip allowance i'll be working with one inch so i'm going to mark one inch from here down to the waist measurement and connect the point together so the next thing is for me to cut it out so this is it so i'm going to set this front panel aside then for the back panel here so i'm going to mark one inch upward like so from the waist area then i'll go to the side i'm going to mark my one inch sewing allowance inward one inch inward then i'll connect this point to this other point okay then i'm going to cut it out and we are done with the back panel so for the front panel now remember the dress as a yoke okay so i'm going to place my tape on the shoulder line like that then measure five inch downward and mark that point then draw a straight line all right okay so the next thing is for me to cut it out and we are done okay so this other part is what i'm going to use to cut out the yoke all right this fabric is what i'll be using for the yoke to cut it out then this is our main body so i'm going to pack everything and set it aside so now for the cutting of the down part all right the full length i'm working with is 26 inches 26 inches minus 11 inches we cut for the upper part i'll be having 15 inches the 15 inches now i'll be adding 2 inches to it making 17 inches the 2 inches is for the joining on the waist area and for the hemming of the damp parts okay so here i have my fabric unfold and there is a trick i always use if you're working with um normal fabric you multiply the waist measurement depending on how full you want it to be by three inches starting from three inches upward you can't work with nets by multiplying by three inches no it won't be full but i'm talking of normal fabric like this multiply the waist measurement by three inches all right but for this dress i'll be multiplying it by six inches okay I'm working with the two yards of fabric and I'll be cutting it twice. All right. So remember I said I'll be cutting it twice. So this is my study point line and I want to mark the first part out. So I'm going to measure 17 inches from the study point line here. Then mark it across the fabric. Then I'll connect the points together so this is it and i'll be using the second line here as my starting point line for the second material that i'll be cutting although i've done it off camera so now the next thing is for me to cut them out so this is the first part of the down part of the dress then i'm going to move the material up so i can cut the second part as well so as you can see this is it then i'm going to cut it out so now that we are done with the cutting of the two parts okay so guys please don't make this mistake do not join the two parts directly like this because if you do the journey will be at the front of the dress so what i'll advise you to do is you take one of the parts then you fold it into two and you cut it so that is it for this okay 
so this is how it's going to be you join one side like that if you open it it's going to be like that then you take the other side too with the second part that will cut into two if you join it together to that one too then this is how everything is going to be by the time you open it up so now i'll be cutting a strip of eight inches width then 40 inches long okay for the strip that is on the chest so you mark it here too then on this other side then you cut so now i'm done cutting that eight inches is going to be on fold as you can see so now for the paper steve i'm just going to cut it into two i won't take any measurement because it's exactly the size i want to use but if you are going to if yours going to be shorter you need to measure it so now i've cut it into two all right so i'll be joining it together and the journey you can fall in the middle because it's going to be underneath you don't need to worry about it okay it can fall at the front you don't need to worry about it since it's going to be underneath the dress okay so for the net this is my starting point line that i'm marking here and what i'll be cutting for the net is uh, 60 inches you know for the main fabric it's 17 inches so i'm going to minus one inch from it but and you can also minus um two inches from it depending on how long you want the net to be and the net i'm going to be cutting is in three places so this is the first marking that i'm doing 16 inches then i'll connect the points together then use this point to measure the second 16 inches then likewise for the third one so now i'm done measuring them out then cutting is the next thing that i'm doing now so this is the first part i'll move this upward then i'm going to cut the second and the third part so i'm done cutting them so this is the third part so second then third as you can see in three places all right so now for the yoke as you can see i've placed the fabric on the net that i'll be using then i'm going to measure one inch downward down one inch is for the sewing allowance that i'll be using to join the yoke to the main fabric okay so i'm going to add one inch then join them together like that then i will trace the yoke out with the chalk before cutting it out so now i'm done tracing it out the next thing is to cut it out this is it so i'm going to use this to cut out the other net to get the shade i want so this is it now i'm going to take it to the same machine and join them together guys i've pinned so I've now pinned as you can see together. i've pinned so the two nets like down this. so i'm going to sew half the ammo with half an, half an inch join the ammo with half an inch then the neck area part. with quarter of an inch and i'll be using invisible thread okay at the neck part, i'm not touching the shoulder area just the armhole well. and the neck area so now i'm done sewing then the next thing is to notch the armhole area then the neck area okay then i'm going to turn it inside out and iron it so as you can see i'm done ironing it down so i'll be joining it to the main fabric okay so i'm going to fold it like this to find the midpoint then i will notch it there okay and this is the lining that i will be using okay and i'll be joining them together with half an inch so i'm done joining okay so now I'll go ahead and join the front panel to the back panel okay on the shoulder area so i'll be joining them together with half an inch as well so now i'm done joining both the front panel and the back panel together and this is it see how neat is it always make sure you iron your clothes whenever you are sewing okay 
So now I've pinned the sides down and I'll be joining it together with one inch. So the next thing is for the strip that will go across the sleeve then to the back and I'll be pleating at the front. So this is the 40 inches length and the width is 8 inches. Then this is color stay and the width is 3.7. Okay. And the length also is 40 inches. All right, guys. So now this um, 8 inches width is going to be on four. Then I've notched it at the middle. Okay. So right side will be facing right side okay then you put the midpoint together and you pin it down secure it with a pin okay then the next thing is to put the collar stay as well the midpoint of the collar stay you find the midpoint and notch and i'm going to place it on heat as well then secure it with a pin together with the fabric so now i'm done securing the color stay together with the fabric with pin so from the midpoint that i notched i'm going to measure five inches on both sides and mark that point so the remaining parts i'm going to stitch them with half an inch okay so the five inches on both sides making 10 inches it's going to be an opening for the pleats that will be at the front of the dress. Okay. This is it. I start stitching it down and turning it inside out. So this piece here, I cut it off camera and it's 5 inches width and the sides are 3 inches width. Okay. So now I'm going to be tracing out this piece on the main body fabric on both sides. This is it. Okay, guys. So, guys, from this point, I marked half an inch downward, okay? Then, from the point as well, I'll be marking 2.5 inches on both sides. So, it's going to be 5 inches all together. That will be the width of the pleats. So, I've gone ahead to pleat it off camera, okay? But what you're going to do is, you know the original line we traced out? You're going to mark half an inch downward inward from the line okay then that is where your fabric for the pleat is going to start from there you follow it to the 2.5 inches mark on both sides okay and now i'll be sewing this on it like this okay so this is the end result of it so the next thing i'll be doing is i'll be opening up the side so that i can push in this other fabric in okay then i'll stitch it together so this is it okay the next thing is to weave the sides then after that i'll be joining the upper part to the lower part okay so now for the journey of the upper part to the lower part i've gathered the lower part as you can see then i'll be using half an inch to join the two parts together so after joining this is it as you can see this is the inside then this is the outer parts this is what it's looking like so i'm going to go ahead and join the nets next then i'll join the lining to it i'll fix the lining then before i fix the paper stay all right then after that i'll come and show you everything so i'm done joining everything to it so this is everything okay the next thing i'll be doing is to fix the back all right so from the waist line i'll be marking i'll be measuring five inches downward this point is where the zip is going to stop at okay then i will stitch the rest together now i'm done joining this part together so the next thing is to insert the zip and after i'm done inserting the zip i'm going to weave it to have a very clean finishing 
Oh, sorry, guys. Before inserting the zip, you know this also is going to be sewn to the zip area. All right, so I'm going to secure it down with pin before I'll now insert the zip. Then after that, I'll weave it and we'll be done.